Hey guys, welcome to UC Berkeley's campus. We're here exploring Berkeley, California in summertime. So we're here in mid-July. There's hardly anyone here. So we have the whole place practically to ourselves. Behind us is the gorgeous library done in Greek architecture. Let's go explore. Hey guys, we are in Berkeley and we're exploring Telegraph Street. This is where Berkeley started. Super funky. We're gonna go check out some of the shops and see what we can find. Woo! 1951 Coffee House here in Berkeley. We are so excited. We're gonna try some awesome coffee and we're gonna hear about this business's special purpose. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Come and join us. Let's go. Might have a little something to do with this date, 1951. So we are at 1951 Coffee Company here in Berkeley. I just got a masala chai, and this is a coffee shop with a purpose. So 1951 is when they had the refugee convention, and they help train refugees here to become baristas and to give them real life skills and learn English and things like that. So cheers to that. The amount of different types of cuisine you can get just in this one block is insane. It's like curry, noodles, Japanese curry, Indian curry. We're gonna attempt to eat healthy today. We grab a refreshing pineapple kombucha and avo toast at Mezzo before heading over to Axe Ventures, a fun place to kill some time and kill some zombies on a hot summer day. And while in Berkeley, you gotta go for some froyo, especially the ube flavor at Uji Time. Our next stop is a rock climber's dream in the middle of a neighborhood. So we're in Berkeley at Indian Rock Park, and this is kind of nestled up in the hills within a residential area. Look how cool this is. It's like giant boulders. I love how it has steps. <laughs> Ooh. so beautiful up here so peaceful there's lots of people though and people going rock climbing welcome to the berkeley rose garden it's known for having 1500 rosebuds and 250 varietals of roses let's go check it out it smells so good in here butterfly So this is called the Stonewall Panoramic Trail and it is just a few minutes from the campus. Views are incredible. So right here you can see downtown Oakland and then right here you can see downtown San Francisco. And we are right in between. So this is a perfect jumping off point for either destination. Yeah, it feels super cool as we climb through this hike and we're just shaded by all these beautiful eucalyptus trees. You can see so far from up here, there's nice cool breezes coming off of the ocean. So Berkeley in the summer, of course, the campus is more or less empty. There are a lot of summer camps that come in though during this time. It's easier to find parking and look at all of this that you have to explore. We head to Berkeley's renowned gourmet ghetto to a cooking class at Kitchen on Fire where we're preparing a dish. Can you guess what we're making? We're making a four course meal, which includes Turkish pide, which is similar to a pizza, but with a lamb filling and an egg on top. The result was incredible. Next, we head to Chez Panisse, one of the most influential restaurants in America. Hey guys, we are at Chez Panisse, and we're trying like a couple salads here. It's very simple, but very fresh. Ooh. Favorites of the night were the plum gaillette, which is a pie's freeform cousin, followed by the apricot sherbet, which tasted like it was fresh picked from the farm.
made it to the beach here in Berkeley. We've had a lot of really cool driftwood behind us and a view of the city. You can see the Berkeley Hills right behind me. I'm at the Berkeley Marina. This is a recreational area here. You can ride your bike, go running, and you can even take out a boat. How cool is that? So this is a very peaceful part of Berkeley. You can smell the salt water air. It's very tranquil and there's lots of shade, so it's a great place to come here and study, bring a book. Next, we head to a Berkeley staple called Jupiter, which has an incredible pizza and beer selection. Aiden Hotel here in Berkeley. Berkeley! Come join us in our adventures. Hey guys, we are on the rooftop of the Aiden here in Berkeley, and it's amazing how much you can see from up here. This is a great community space, plenty of seating. You can come here, bring a pizza from one of your favorite pizza spots in Berkeley, like Jupiter. Come here and enjoy. We are in Berkeley, California. We're grabbing breakfast at Caffeinated Coffee Company. And this is such a cool little cafe. It's got a garden and a greenhouse inside. It's super cool, perfect place to work from home. It's a nice 75 degree summer day here on our stay in Berkeley. And we drive through the neighborhood on the way to the campus for a quick tour. guys welcome to Berkeley as you can see the students aren't here right now so we're gonna see what we can find also they filmed the new movie Oppenheimer here so we're gonna check out some of the filming locations join us we have the place to ourselves yeah let's go and we're walking around it's great to see this campus just nice and open no crowd and we're actually going to be walking down Oppenheimer Way right now to the physics building. Here we are at the physics building. Have you guys seen Oppenheimer? Comment below. So the campus is massive and in the summertime it basically becomes a public park. Look at all these mature trees. Hey guys, we rented bikes at the Aiden, they're free with your hotel, and we are headed to the Wine Block, which is only a mile away. It's a really cool area of Berkeley, and it's kind of undercover a little bit. We're riding down a street in Berkeley called Bicycle Boulevard. It's very bike friendly. I just found these really cool murals. It's so colorful in this alleyway. How cool is this? So we're at Donkey and Goat and they have this really cool summer flight, which is perfect for drinking out in this beautiful open space here. And the wines are great because they're not begging to be paired with like a steak or anything. They're just good and sippable wines on their own. This is Isabelle's Cuvée Rosé and it's from Mendocino. Mendocino, mm, with hints of strawberry and guava. We got a little bit of a Berlin vibe here. 
having dinner here at Gammon Kitzel. This is one of our favorite restaurants in Berkeley. They serve traditional German cuisine and they have a literal book of beers and imported goods. Let's go check it out. So Mike, we're at Gammon Kitzel. We're at Gammon Kitzel and I got the fish cake. Ooh. I have a German pale ale straight from Germany. The bratzel. This is such a vibe. Look at these trees. Hey guys, we're gonna take you on a walking tour of Berkeley's incredible architectural history. It's world famous for its amazing architecture, its distinctive homes, and its unique buildings. So come and join us. Now look at this beautiful castle behind us. It's similar in architecture to the houses in Normandy in France. Let me zoom in on some of these details. We have some gargoyles here, including a snake a monkey and a wild boar and then the roof is shaped like a dragon Ooh, ha, ha. mike where are we hey guys we're at the berkeley city club here in berkeley california and this property was designed by the same architect as hearst castle the famous julia morgan come and join us look at these big doors we're gonna take a tour we have the pool at the berkeley city club Ooh, the famous pool, so much imagination. And look at how the color is reflected in the ceiling. It's like being in a castle. So Julia Morgan used a blend of architecture, including Romanesque and Gothic. Lots of cool lighting in here, and it's all designed with poured concrete. So this was designed by Julia Morgan in 1930, and it feels like a fantasy world in here. It's kind of like a cross between a castle and maybe a Romanesque or Gothic church. We hope that you get a chance to spend some time in Berkeley this summer and stay cool. And check out the hidden gems featured in this video, links in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe for many more travel videos.